We're back to bring you another great game from the National Football League. The Cincinnati Bengals will kick off to begin the game. He can't bring him down. Dropped at the 29-yard line. The Panthers will set up shop at the 29-yard line. The stop was made by Keith Rivers. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. And that time, there were no holes, really. And he was lucky to get anything on the play. Throws just as the pressure gets there. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Got to him just as he released it. Makes the grab. No signal yet. We'll see what they rule. So after conferring, they're going to say he was out of bounds. He just missed coming down with a great catch there. Man, it's good to see you out there, baby. Grimes fields it at the 26. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. They'll go to work at the 28-yard line. Dumps it out right. Barnett makes the tackle. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Here's the halfback. Beeson is there on the tackle. Benson gains about four yards. That'll be enough for the first. Throws it out is there for the cat. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass, open it up down the field. Makes the short throw. Makes the catch, and he is dropped. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get your selves in position defensively you think you're in the right spot you're going to make a play and a guy makes a throw like that and you go hey that's a good throw lavernius cole was his intended target passes it almost picked richard marshall had the coverage on the play Carolina looks like they're sending everything but the kitchen sink at this punter. It'll go out at the 17-yard line. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. The halfback with the carry. Odom is there to bring him down. Williams gets six yards on the play. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. They're sticking it out. I'm a lot of things, but that ain't one of them. You know there's a wind. He's coming out here. He did get enough for the first. The defense took their shot there. They took a guess. It wasn't right. Let's just mark that one up as a win for the offense. Gets the pass away. And he is able to hold on to it. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Hey, what, hey, what, what? Passes it out. Makes the catch. 
the Panthers are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Short throw to the right. Touchdown! The Panthers get into the end zone first. I knew all he had to do was catch that one, and he was going to be gone. When you possess that kind of speed, it is a very difficult day for the defense. Better give him a little more cushion than that. He'll down it in the end zone. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Here's the give. Andy makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Popinga is there on the tackle. He's hammered in the backfield. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticized because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. The pass is away. Drops the sure pick. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. They get him at the 41-yard line. The Panthers looked very strong that last offensive possession. They capped it off with a touchdown. Those are exactly the types of drives coaches love to see, unless you're on the defensive side. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Hall gets his hand on it and scoops it up. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. We need some attention. Dumps it out left. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Here's the throw. They bring him down, but the Bengals will have first and goal. Chad Ochocinco makes his third grab. Here's the halfback. The tackle was made by Kemoetu. That's four yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Here's the give. Runs over tackling. No official signal yet. After discussing it, they rule no touchdown. He'll try the end zone. Ocho Cinco makes the catch in the end zone. The Cincinnati Bengals use five plays to take it to the end zone after beginning the drive on the 40. Chad, Ocho Cinco brings so much to the table as a wide receiver. He's really an asset to this offense. going and he's drilled what a hit first and ten ball on their own 30 throws it looks like he had it but it's not loose Bryant Johnson was the intended receiver on the play The halfback with the carry. Williams picks up five yards with the carry. They line up at the 35. Defense! 
just gets it off. Crocker brings him down at the 48-yard line. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Williams will run it again. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. They're going to pitch it. He's still going. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Carolina. The Carolina Panthers go nearly 70 yards in five plays for the score. I think it's safe to say there aren't many players in the NFL with the kind of vision that he has. All he has to do is find a little single crease in the defense, and he really makes you pay. Won't be stopped. The Bengals will look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. They'll give it off here. He fights forward to about the 33 before he's wrestled to the ground. They're going to pitch it. Hit and drop behind the line. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. Here's the pass. Comes down with it. Barnett makes the tackle. The Panthers held them in check on that drive, and that's a good way to send a strong message to an offense that it is going to be a very physical game. From the 50, he makes it to the 23-yard line. The Panthers put together a really impressive drive that last time out. You can just see how confident they are right now. Williams on the run. Breaks a tackle. Williams comes away with five yards on the carry. Second down and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. Hands it to the back. He fights forward to about the 29 before he's hit and dropped. So it's third down now. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws it. He's there for the catch. Crocker is there on the tackle. And that was a little hum baby coming out of there from the quarterback. We've all heard about how strong his arm is, and we saw it there. Here's the give. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Tom, that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. He gets another carry. He's dropped around the 49-yard line by Hall. They pick up two yards. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Their last drive ended with a three and out. And he's crushed at the 28. Ooh, that looked painful on that one. And we're talking about the lost art of tackling. Not only was it a big hit, but it was a disciplined hit. Good wrap up, had a way to take him to the ground. Perfect. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. They pick up a good six yards there, and that makes it third down. I got you, I got you. 
He throws right. The stop was made by Martin. The Panthers came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. He fields the punt at the 60. Godfrey can't hang on to the ball. Richardson picks it up off the ground. Touchdown, Cincinnati. And this for the time. Shane Graham adds the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He takes it back to the 29-yard line. It was a tough series last time out, giving up the fumble and the touchdown on the same play. Will they bounce back here? Pitch out. Still pushing. Malalugut makes the tackle. Williams gains around six yards on the run. He slides. Robert Gathers gets his first sack of the season. They're facing third and 11 now. Defense closing in. He goes up high for the catch. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. They hand it off. They can't bring him down. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Throw short. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. Rivers will tackle him for a loss at the 40. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time, there is nowhere to go. Williams on the run. He breaks the tackle. He gets to about the 27-yard line before he's dropped by a host of tackles. Jones takes the handoff. Antoine Odom was there to bring him down. Jones comes away with two yards on the carry. Flips it out short. Jones is there on the tackle. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big block. They hand it off. The tackle was made by Michael Johnson. Jones picks up five yards with the carry. Vic hands it off straight ahead. The stop was made by Malaluga. Williams gets about four yards on the play. Passes to the end zone. Leaping catch. He comes down with it. Touchdown. Well, it just goes to show that you don't have to be the fastest guy in the football field to get open. That time, some physical play, getting off the line of scrimmage, a good quick cut, and he gets it in for the touchdown.
from his own goal line. Drop at the 30. The Bengals will begin this drive at the 30. Gets the pass out. Brings it in. Still on his feet. Ocho Cinco now has five catches. Throws it short. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. They go with the toss. They can't bring him down. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. That's a pretty play, isn't it? Anytime you get that pitch to the outside, the running back catches it in stride. He finds a nice hole, pick up the first down. Always like watching that play. Five yards. That'll bring up second down. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, our score, the Panthers, 21, the Bengals, 14. Palmer gives it up the middle. John Beeson was there to bring him down. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short day. Too close to call. Here comes the chain gang. We got to make some plays. The ref signals that they're just a little short. You know, this is one of those situations that in years gone by, you definitely aren't going to go for it this early in the game. But anymore, these offensive coordinators and head coaches, they believe so much in their offense, nothing would surprise me. Here. Drop at the 26-yard line. The Panthers ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Vic hands it off straight ahead. Williams picks up a yard on the play. It's the tailback. Tackle was made by Keith Rivers. This is one of those guys you just love watching him run the football. His footwork, his balance, but especially his determination. He just does not want to be tackled. Got it off barely. The stop was made by Crocker. The Panthers get another good gainer that time. This offense is finding early success in the passing game. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Tackle was made by Robert Gather. The Panthers get another big gain there. I'm telling you, I'm impressed with what they're doing right now in the running game. Again with the run. Still moving. He gets to about the 21-yard line. Crocker was there on the tackle. Pico will drop him behind the line at the 22. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Passes the ball. Knocked down. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. No good. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. 
Popenga makes the tackle. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator, bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. It's the tailback. The stop was made by Landon Johnson. Benson comes away with two yards on the carry. Gets the pass off. Tackle was made by McAllister. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. The stop was made by Thomas Davis. He may not have gotten there. They'll measure. The referee signals to the sideline. They're that close. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Tackle was made by Martin. Benson found a hole and was able to pick up just around six yards. Good enough for the first down. They'll keep it on the ground again. Brought down behind the line. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Here's the give. Runs over tackling. They gain five yards there, and so it'll be third down. Dumps it out right. The stop was made by McAllister. Chad Ochocinco with his sixth reception. Again with the carry. Everett Brown was there on the tackle. The Panthers will start this drive at the 36-yard line. Handoff up the middle. The stop was made by Hagler. We've got second and nine here. Ball on their own 37. And they'll run him again. He fights forward to about the 39 before several defenders bring him down. Gets the pass away. He's still going. The Panthers are doing a pretty good job in the passing game. The receivers are finding some space in the secondary and the ball is getting there on time. Gives to the back. Hall makes the tackle. Second and nine. They'll give it off here. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Keith Rivers was there on the tackle. Slides down. It's fourth down. The Panthers are lining up to punt it away. It'll go out at the 22. The offense will take over at the 22-yard line. First down now and 10 to go. Here's the halfback. Tackle was made by Martin. Five yard, and that will bring up second down.
passes. There for the reception. The stop was made by Godfrey. It really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why. You establish the run, and then you come with the play-action pass. Just so hard to defend. Gets the ball away. That incompletion will bring up second down. Benson gets another carry. Davis was there to bring him down. Benson picks up a yard on the play. He throws short. There for the catch. Barnett makes the tackle. Let's go, fellas. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Throws it out. And it's completed. Touchdown, Bengals. The Bengals go nearly 80 yards in eight plays for the score. Carson Palmer got the job done there, and we've seen him do it so many times over the years. That's the thing with him. He comes through time after time. They had to put it away on their previous drive. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. Vic hands it off. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on their own 24. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. Passes it. Not sure if he reached it. They'll measure. It was enough to move the chains. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. They hand it off again. And he will lose yardage on the play. Well, those defenders get paid, too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. He's under a heavy rush. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that. Grimes awaiting the return. Grimes fields it at the 27. The Bengals have to be happy with how their offense performed that last time around. That was some drive, and now maybe they come out a little more loose in this drive. And it looks like we have a flag down on the play. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. So first down once again, but a long ways to go following the penalty. Gets the pass away. Godfrey was there to bring him down. That 
catch gives him his third reception of the game. Hit as he's passing. Everybody knows about this guy's arm strength, and if you wanted to see an example of it, right there it was. Passes it out. Beeson gets his hand on it. John Beeson is defending on the play. Benson takes the gift. Gains his way to the 39-yard line before he's gang tackled. They needed the first on that play, and he delivered. Nice run on third down that time. Boy, you can tell the confidence they have in this running back. They're going to feed him the ball in difficult situations, and he came through there. Palmer will hand it off. Benson gets about a yard on the play. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the 34-yard line. He's dropped for a loss. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. The pass is away. Fourth down. Fourth down. The Bengals are lining up to punt this one away. And not a good bounce on the punt. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. He didn't get back to the line. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Hands it off. Crocker makes the tackle. Crocker cracks him down, wraps him up for tackle number five. He passes short, and he caught it. He's brought down at the 26-yard line by Grimes. The Panthers are lining up to punt it away. Grimes back deep to return. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. Short pass. Pass is complete. John Beeson was there on the tackle. Holt is able to make his fourth reception. Short throw is there for the catch. Tackle was made by Godfrey. Carson Palmer may not be perfect, but he has no issues whatsoever with accuracy. He delivers such a pretty pass, and when it's in there, you know it's going to be in the perfect position. The stop was made by Kemoetu. Benson comes away with two yards on the carry. Second and eight. Two minutes left in the half. Throws it short. Tackle was made by Beeson. Carson Palmer has the hot hand right now, and of course that surprises nobody, especially this defense. He's one of the most accurate passers in the league, so to stop him, you have to get some heat on him. Makes the catch. He lost yardage on the play. 
Benson makes his third grab. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 23. They'll give it off here. Peppers was there to bring him down. Benson picks up five yards with the carry. Hands it to the back. John Beeson makes the tackle. Benson gets about four yards on the play. He's got it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Well, that one looked like it was going wide, but it barely made it in. That one just made it inside the upright. That's one where you see the field goal kicker going. But he got it. They could do nothing against this defense on their previous drive. Passes to his left. Curry with his third reception. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 30. He was hit. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack. A great pressure to force an incompletion. Barely gets that one off. The Panthers will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Dumps it out left. This is going to be close. Did he come up with it? They're not going to give it to him. He just missed coming down with a great catch there. Rolling right. And they got him. Odom makes his first sack of the year. Here's the throw. The stop was made by Crocker. The Panthers are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Throws it. Comes down with it. Brought down at the 12 by Grind. Pretty athletic play for a big guy. I tell you, as a quarterback, you see somebody make a play like that, you want to come back again and again. At the 30. It appears that we have a flag on the play. And that flag was thrown in the area of holding. Holding on the receiving. Time for a short break as we send you to the studio for stats and highlights. Thanks, Tom. We hope you guys have been enjoying the action. Here are the highlights from your game. Here's a look at the first half stats. Cincinnati racked up over 300 yards in the first half. 
Chad Ochocinco has over 75 yards receiving. Cincinnati leads it by three. Welcome back to Cincinnati. At the 30, he's tackled at the 34-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 34. They give it to the tailback. Emoetu was there to bring him down. Benson gains about four yards on the play. Beeson makes the tackle. From their own 47-yard line. Benson on the handoff. The stop was made by Lewis. They line up at the 48. Palmer hands it off. Benson gets three yards on the play. Short throw to the left. Well, it's not a horrible call in that situation because you put the ball in the hands of a playmaker. You try and allow him to create, but you're seeing now defensively when they close together like that, it's going to be awfully tough to pick up that first down. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. Vic hands it left. They tackle him for a loss. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. They'll keep it on the ground again. Williams gains around three yards on the run. Here's the pass. He's there for the catch. Leon Hall is there on the tackle. The defense was coming with a heat on that play. But you never know it if you were watching the quarterback. He stood in there strong, completely relaxed, and made that defense pay that time. Just gets that one away. That pass put him over 300 yards for the game. And this offensive line's been getting it done with pass protection. I don't care who you have playing quarterback. If that guy's back there getting a hit, it is awfully tough to throw for 300 yards. Let's go, baby. Turn it up. They're going to pitch it. He's hammered in the backfield. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Sees a man, goes deep. The Panthers are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. He throws left. Pass falls incomplete. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. Gives to the back. Three yards there. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game.
Short pass to his left. Vick gets his third touchdown pass of the game. Euler puts it through, and it's a four-point game. Here's your sprint drive summary. Brought down at the 30. They were forced to punt on their last drive. You better do something. Here's the give. He'll get it again. John Beeson makes the tackle. John Beeson records his eighth tackle. The defense has him surrounded. They get to him and intercepted. Touchdown, Carolina. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. What a tremendous return that was. And even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. Bueller adds the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. At the 30. They get him at the 37. We'll see what the offense does to combat their last mistake, which ended with the defense celebrating a touchdown. Throws it. Brings it in. Down the sideline. The stop was made by Barnett. You know, really the best quarterbacks are almost magicians out there on the field. A little sleight of hand, a little make you look here and think you see something you don't really see, and then they burn you on the back end. There for the reception. Tackle is made by Landon Johnson. Lavernius Cole with his fourth catch of the game. Gets the pass out. Marshall has it. Has plenty of room. He's in for the score. And that will make his second of the game. And I know what he's thinking out there. He's trying to push the ball down the field, but you can't do that. You just have to read the coverage. If it's not there, check it down. Be patient. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it to the 28. The Bengals suffered an interception on their last possession. Passes the ball. There for the catch. Smith is there on the tackle. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. Gets the pass off. Catches it, and he's dropped. Carson Palmer has made some great throws in this one, finding plenty of holes in the secondary on his way to over 300 yards. Gets the pass away. McAllister is there to bring him down. Carson Palmer is having no trouble completing passes on this drive. Accuracy is just one of his many talents. He's tackled at the 23 by Everett Brown. They line up at the 23. Hey, hey, hey. 
passes. Still perfect on the drive. It'll be first and goal. Carson Palmer is making accurate throws on this series. Very good timing with his receivers and a good job by that offensive line giving him time. Stays on his feet. Is it a touchdown? And the call is a touchdown. What a run that was. He was trapped behind the line of scrimmage. It looked like he was going to go down for a big loss. Instead, he breaks the tackle and runs it in for the touchdown. He makes it out to about the 27-yard line. It's first and ten. They'll give it off here. He's down the sideline. Inside the 30. They finally force him to the ground at the 16-yard line. What a run that was. I really thought he might be gone there, but they were finally able to chase him down. Jones gets about four yards on the play. Just about 12 yards away now. Again with the run. Rivers makes the tackle. They gain five yards there, and that makes it third down. To the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Vic passes for another score, his fourth of the game. Bueller tacks on the extra point. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Hit and dropped at the 31. The Bengals are looking to dig themselves out of this big hole that they've dug themselves into. And at the very least, you have to show the guys on the other bench you're not going to roll over. Benson picks up about four yards on the play. They line up at the 35. Under heavy pressure, got a hand on him, throws the pick. To the 10. Touchdown, Carolina. You know, some defensive players, you don't want to throw it in their zone because it might get intercepted. Some guys, you absolutely don't want to throw it there because they can turn it into a touchdown going the other way. Bueller is good on the point after. Here's your sprint drive summary. He gets out to the 28-yard line. The defense is coming off that big play just a moment ago, so the momentum is on their side. Palmer gives it up the middle. He fights forward to about the 30. Peppers was there on the tackle. Two-yard pickup. That brings up second down. Short throw to the right. Caught and dropped. Benson is able to make his fourth reception. Third and four. And it's completed. Tackled at about the 39-yard line by Pepper. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. Gets the ball away. 
Carson Palmer hasn't missed yet on this drive. He's an accurate passer and he's got a good sense of timing in that pocket. Throws it out. Hasn't missed yet on this drive. Carson Palmer is sort of a streaky passer. You know, when he gets into a rhythm like he seems to be doing right now, he can shred a defense. Here's the give. Beeson makes the tackle. Benson gets about a yard on the play. Passes it. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. The Cincinnati Bengals cap off the seven play drive with a trip to the end zone. Carson Palmer is just so confident in his arm. You could almost see him smiling at the line of scrimmage that time when he saw the man coverage and he zipped it in there. Munnerlin from the four. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. The Panthers have scored touchdowns on their last two possessions, so they'll look to keep momentum on their side. Gets the pass away. And he caught it. The Panthers' passing game continues to impress. There's almost no resistance when they try and throw the ball. It seems like they're getting 10 to 15 yards every time. Williams gains about four yards on the play. The halfback with the carry. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. Holding offense. Repeat, second down. The penalty brings up a second and 15 situation. Passes it out. He's dropped around the 44 yard line by Grimes. He's got himself another reception. That'll put him over 100 yards for the game. This tight end has a chance to be something special. He really does. He can block well at the point of attack, runs great routes, but I love how soft his hands are for a big guy. A gain of three yards. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers are a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. Pass is complete. The stop was made by Malaluga. This guy seemingly can't be stopped. He's now thrown for 400 yards in the game. Yeah, and at times, he really makes it look easy out there. These wide receivers deserve a little credit, too. They're doing a lot of work getting open down the field. But this quarterback's pretty special. Just keeps the ball moving down the field. Six-yard gain and a uh, little progress. it off. Hagler is there on the tackle. This is the eighth play of this drive. The pass is away. Drops the easy pick. Patrick Creighton was the intended receiver. No good. They'll go to work at the 32-yard line. It's first and 10. They're going to pitch it. Brought down behind the line. And when the defense gets that kind of penetration, it just disrupts everything for an offense. They have to get that guy blocked. Showtime today, baby. 
Here's the throw. Tipped pass. Godfrey had the coverage on the play. Throws it. Tackle was made by Harris. Chad Ochocinco has been a very effective weapon in the passing game today. That last catch puts him above 100 yards. Here's the pass. Tipped it away. The pass result. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. On the play. Second down. Throws it short. No completions. Godfrey was defending on the play. The offense facing another third down here as they line up. You've won an all-expenses payday with a cheerleader of your choice. Short throw to the left. Well, let's face it. There really aren't too many plays in the playbook that would have gained enough for the first down there, so they just took what they could get. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw. They get him at the 46-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one is the Panthers 59, the Bengals 41. The Panthers have possession as we begin the fourth quarter and can put this game out of reach with a score on this drive. They hand it off. Your running back has just rushed for over 200 yards. You're winning the game. There's absolutely no reason to change the game plan now. If he's still breathing, keep giving him the ball. Deep pass to the end zone. He came down with it. Touchdown. Another touchdown for the wide receiver. And the defense got to be a little frustrated out there. You know, they just can't get their hands on him. He's just too quick at the line of scrimmage. He's too quick coming in and out of his breaks. And he's making this defense look bad. Drop at the 25. The Bengals will set up shop at the 25. It's the tailback. The stop was made by Thomas Davis. They haven't been easy yards to pick up, but in a hard-fought game at the end of the day, especially in the second half, you start seeing running plays working a little bit better than maybe what they did in the first half when that defense is fresh and really flying around out there. Chad Ochocinco now with nine catches. Cincinnati breaks out their Wildcat offense. It goes straight to the back. Still on his feet. He fights forward to about the 40. John Beeson was there to bring him down. Throws it. Is there for the catch. Holt with catch number nine. Benson gets it on the inside. Thomas Davis makes the tackle. Davis is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. Palmer gives it up the middle. About four yards on that play. And so it'll be third down. Passes on the move. The stop was made by McAllister. Holt making his tenth grab. What an outstanding player he's been his entire career. We congratulate him as he reaches catch number 1,000. Makes the short throw. Touchdown, oh, Cincinnati. Yeah. Carson Palmer got the job done there, and we've seen him do it so many times over the years. That's the thing with him. He comes through time after time. Extra point is good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint.
from his own goal line. He makes it back to the 25. They'll start this drive at the 25. Gets the pass out. Makes the catch. He's knocked out at the 47. Bryant Johnson makes his third catch of the game. Gives it off. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Now Alugan is there on the tackle. Vic hands it off straight ahead. Williams picks up a yard on the play. Throws short. On the reception and dumped right away. Small game. Waddle Curry with seven catches now. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. It'll go out at the 16. They'll go to work at the 16-yard line. Passes the ball. Comes down with it. Godfrey makes the tackle. The Panthers were caught napping on that play. They played a zone, which is fine, but after that catch was made, they just didn't respond fast enough. Carson Palmer knew he had an opportunity for a big play and delivered a really nice ball. Peppers was there on the tackle. You would think they would be looking to conserve time right now. Yeah, somebody may want to go over and whisper in the head coach's ear that, uh, hey, coach, we are still behind you. Dumps it out right. Tackle was made by Chris Harris. Pick up a five on the play. He'll take plays like that all day long. Gets the pass off. He's there for the catch. The stop was made by Godfrey. Hoffman is able to make his fourth reception. Gets the pass away. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. We'll bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks and we saw it there. He throws right, brings it in. That's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. Just got that one off. Runs right through the tackle. You just can't let him get the ball, can you? That reception put him over 100 yards. And this receiver just looks so confident catching the football. You know, if, if you really believe in your hands, it gives your eyes a chance to look away and try and make some runs after the catch. This guy knows he's going to make every catch and do it solidly. Fullback handoff. Thomas Davis was there to bring him down. This is the tenth play of the drive. Rolls right. Tries for the end zone. And the pass falls incomplete. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. So after that kick, the score is now the Bengals, 51, the Carolina Panthers, 66. He gets to the 26. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They hand it off. They pick up two yards, and that will bring up second down. 
Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Throws it short. There for the reception. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Gain of two. That'll bring up second down. Vic will hand it off. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Panthers. One score is nice, but two, that is really special. And ask any fantasy football player out there, if this guy's on your team, you're almost as happy as he is right now. Better than eight minutes remain in the fourth quarter. And the score, the Panthers, 73, the Bengals, 51. Brought down at the 31. The Bengals will begin this drive at the 31. Passes. There for the catch. The tackle was made by Chris Harris. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. Huge pressure by the defense. And it's completed. The stop was made by Jeff Olbert. Chad Ochocinco making his 10th grab. Gets the ball away. He makes another reception on the drive. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Moreland Reedwood was there to bring him down. Short throw to the right. It'll be first and goal. If you have receivers that can make catches like that, it is just almost impossible to defend. As a quarterback, you just throw it to the open spot and know that guy can go get it. What a play. Lavernius Coles has so much ability, and he's well utilized, really, in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover, and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. And they won't get the two. Looked like the defense was expecting them to run it there. Yeah, I don't know why when they saw that defense, they didn't try an audible out of that play. I'm sure the coaching staff felt pretty good about that play going in based on what they saw on film. But that couldn't have been what they were anticipating there. Hit and dropped at the 28-yard line. The offense will start at the 28-yard line. Throws it out. Malalugit makes the tackle. Bryant Johnson is able to make his fourth reception. Receiver has it on the screen. He doesn't get back to the line. Loss of three on the completion. Boy, that's just great anticipation by the defense there. They saw that play coming and were all over it. Passes it. And he caught it. At the 40, at the 30. Crocker was there on the tackle. Vic has been unstoppable. That last connection gives him 500 yards. Let's go, let's go. 
Might have a man. Deep pass. End zone. Smith catches the ball in the end zone, or at least it looked like he did. This will not be a touchdown. There's a flag on the play. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Holding offense. Repeat, second down. Dumps it out right. Great play, and the Panthers will have first and goal. Jones makes his third catch of the game. Passes, end zone, touchdown Panthers. Ronald Curry falls in his second touchdown catch of the game. Point after is good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. With under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of play, the score, the Panthers 80, the Bengals 57. Caldwell takes it at the four. He takes it back to the 29-yard line. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. First and ten. Throws just as the pressure gets there. Chad Ochocinco takes a shot. Good defense. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. Gets the pass away. Pass is complete. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop. The stop was made by Bradley. Passing in this situation seems like it would have been a better idea. Passing in every situation seems to me like it would be a better idea, but when you have the clock working against you like this, it's time to put it up. It's there for the catch. To the 20. Godfrey is there on the tackle. And when the quarterback's throwing one that hard as a receiver, you almost feel like you need to put on a catcher's mask. That would look dangerous coming down the pipe. On the ground with a tailback. And he will lose yardage on the play. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. Great pressure that time to force that off-target throw. You know when you're bringing pressure, you're going to leave somebody open down the field. You just have to hope you get there before that quarterback finds them. Passes it out. He goes up high for the catch. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. You, know, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable, and I think that's beginning to happen. Yeah, yeah, Carson yeah. Palmer has been in the zone. He's got six TD passes. The halfback with the carry. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. Here's your sprint drive summary. And like the saying goes, desperate times call for desperate measures, but for them, desperate measures didn't work out. They hand it off. Jones gains seven yards on that play. They'll need about three yards here on second down.
Vic hands it off straight ahead. Now Alugut makes the tackle. Jones gained around six yards. That'll be enough to get the first. Hands it to the back. Jones gets about a yard on the play. They give it to the tailback. Sims was there on the tackle. Jones picks up a yard on the play. Flag on the play. And this one looks like it's going to come back. Holding offense. Still third down. That penalty pushes them back even further, third and very long here on this play. Goodson left side. Rivers makes the tackle. A lot of coaches would have tried to get the first here. Yeah, but you do gamble if you put the ball in the air in that situation. I think right now the coach is saying, I have more faith in my defense to make some stops than my offense to convert that play. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 21. It's first and 10. The pass is away. McAllister is there on the tackle. Ocho Cinco has been virtually uncoverable. In Despite the defense's best efforts, as he continues to pile on the yardage on his way to more than 200 yards receiving. He throws right, makes the catch, and the last guy gets him. Holt is having a whale of a game that makes 200 yards receiving. He gets popped as he throws. Looks like they're going to get him for grounding. Intentional grounding offense. So it's second and long now after the penalty. will take their last timeout. That penalty will bring up a second and long situation. Throws it short. I know we all talk about 40-yard dash times in the NFL, but as a receiver, if you are a great route runner and you understand what the defenses are trying to do to you, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3-40. If you can get in and out of your cuts like this guy, you will always be able to play. The pocket is collapsing. And he's hit as he let go of the ball. It's picked off. That should wrap things up. He can't bring him down. And he's got plenty of room to run. Touchdown, Panthers. Yeah, it's on. Not only was that a tremendous interception, but when he got the ball in his hand, he looked like he knew what to do with it. What a run. Up and good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint.
Hit and dropped at the 29-yard line. That's going to do it. We have highlights coming right up, so don't go anywhere.